the Chick Dixon to Mum Cheryl and the Chick Dixon for this collection that we want to dedicate it. We also want to dedicate it, and we have a letter from Rhonda Dixon. She couldn't be here today giving her approval as a daughter and uh, Nadina family that have always four generations danced when Chicka Dixon first opened our museum in 2002 on the street in Darlinghurst. And we'd like to dedicate it to Michael Kirby, Honorable Michael Kirby, and to um, Governor Marie Bashir for the work that they've done in the community. And Honorable Michael Kirby has been our patron since um, 2009, and we appreciate him coming to the shed in Redfern as um, so many people have done, Terry Cutcliffe, Daz, just um, Daryl. <laughs> Daryl spent a lot of time with us. He, he made time in his lo busy life for us. I appreciate it. Um, who am I forgetting? John Carapal behind me. I Philip, can't. Philip Ray. Philip, 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 Philip Ruddick <laughs> never made it to the shed, but I hope you come to Minto where we have it all together. <laughs> we'll make you a meal. Uh -huh. But um, <laughs> I, think, I think going back to um, Honorable Michael Kirby, when people are, do well and they have books about themselves and they're busy people, but then they take the extra time to help little people <laughs> and causes. And I hope that all of you remember the causes that are out there, that Aboriginal people have a, a beautiful culture. And I'm, I've seen it firsthand, but really without that culture, Australia doesn't have a culture. If you ask people what it is, they would say meat pies or they would they would say the strangest things, or, or they might even say a surfboard or something. Um, however, the outback is the predominant part of Australia, so it's sort of like without Australians, the first Australians, and, and Gavi over there singing in his own language, how beautiful, and, and he, can, he can tell the most amazing stories. He's a graduate of NASDA and, 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 and brilliant didgeridoo player, and you know, we could have visiting people like Gavi come in and entertain and, and teach the younger people um, in this keeping place and the tourists would want to come. And Mum Cheryl's spirit's in this room now, okay? She's here with us. She's given us the blessing. Well, I'm here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and also we've got her tapes. We've got, we've got oral tapes in a box that she said, you know what we've got in Parliament? We've got galas. We've even got a hawk. We've got a peacock strutting around. <laughs> and she, she was just, we've got her on tape speaking, and we'll, we could, once we yes. get the box and the photographs, yes. everybody can share those too later. Good. So, this painting here, um, we're going to give this to Brad Minicon um, for the Pemaway Museum in Redfern, and Dr. Mick Asher bought that for $2,000 for him. And I, Ray, Ray, Reverend Ray Minicon has done a wonderful job with the, ab, honoring the Aboriginal diggers, diggers, and that painting should be, you know, um, have not just Dr. McAsher's name on it because he, he, he paid for it. And and by the way, Dr. McAsher was um, Mum Cheryl's GP, and also <laughs> her whole family, which was huge, and um, <laughs> not just not just your family, but like hundreds of other people <laughs> that she took in her house. Um, and, um, and this painting honors um, Gordon's uncles that Gordon made. And, and Reverend Ray Minicon, if I could say single-handedly, has, has created uh, the march and the whole history to remember these Aboriginal soldiers that went to war. And, and it's, it's not just that war. It was the war of the massacres against, I should, sorry for, being political here, Daryl's right behind me. <laughs> I better go here. <laughs> <laughs> I better go here and be quiet. It's your, it's your place. In a way. It's mine. It's everyone's. So you would know, you please? In a way, the war is still going on just a little bit. Like it's a verbal war of now. Course. It's a, it's a cultural war, and it's a, it's a war of survival because I see it for hand, firsthand. The, the Aboriginal artists that sell their paintings for twenty dollars. You know, because we had a gallery, they come in and. Would you just buy this for fifty dollars? And to be honest, we went broke buying paintings. It wasn't like we, our heart was a little bit. We weren't good business people. We were artists, so that's one reason we're in the position we're in. And thank you so much, everybody, Mel, everybody for coming. And NITV's here, and Daz um, has done a series on Blackman, Cobra, and all these different people. And Gordon's the only Aboriginal artist he's 
during my on. So, Steve Miller, thank you very much for coming for your kind words. Philip Black over there didn't say, did you want to say anything? Um, no, I don't really think so. And, yeah, I guess I bring the, the third level of government to Mr Ruddick and um, the MP from the state. And now that I'm out of local government, hopefully I can spend a bit more time with you and Gordon and you. help the little that I can. Yeah. And Elaine and Gordon, on behalf of the Redfern community and, and all the Aboriginal diggers who fought in every overseas conflict, on their behalf, thank you for this. Well Just, can I just tell one little quick story? It's very, it's my really good memory of Mum Shell. It was uh, a story of 60 Minutes done with Ian Leslie, I think it was. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, with you before your time or something. But um, she set this big Christmas party. She had no money. Um, she, had, she never had a set, but she had, she had this Christmas party with, she had a, a black sand, I don't know who the black sand it was, but it was down at the, <laughs> it, was, it was down at the park <laughs> at Alexandria across the road from where my mother lived. And uh, she had that many, that many kids turned up. There must be, must be three or four thousand kids there, just kids alone. And every kid got a present from this one Santa Claus. Oh, poor fellow must be sweating in that suit. But, <laughs> and uh, the thing I, I, I like it, um, Ian Leslie was talking to, and he, Mum Shaw grabbed my my older son. He's he's thirty two now, and he said to Ian, and, and I think if you look at the picture in sixty minutes, she, she's held this kid up and said. This is my first great great grandson. That was my boy, and I still got the pictures and everything at home. And and yeah, um, but yeah, that day we, we spent the whole day with her. It was a day that you, you, we never ever forgot. Me and my wife and and, and that uh, was our first baby. Um, yeah, but seeing the f as I said earlier, we didn't. Me and my brother didn't grow up with a great with a great grandmother grandmother either because of the work she done. Um, but that day to me was just. Precious, you couldn't change. You, 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 there was not a better day in the, in the world spent with your grandmother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we end on a very hopeful note. We've had uh, a message to the Premier, a message to James Packer, a message to a lot of media who will be writing about the importance of the keeping place. So let's keep it rolling. Thank you, everyone. And a very rich woman. That was mentioned too. That's right. Very good. As long as it begins.